Hey, welcome back. Back in the shop. Um, hope you enjoyed the skull I made uh, out of milk jug. Hopefully, uh, without no uh, me blabbering along, um, maybe you learned a little bit of how I'm making a skull for next to nothing. But uh, I threw a little paint on the skull. Just cheap can of uh, black paint you can get about anywhere. Family Dollar, Dollar General. Dollar Tree maybe has it. You know, odd lots. Um, any place like that. Don't have to be expensive paint. Just like uh, for a Halloween prop or, or whatever. So, But anyway, I sprayed some black on it. And uh, going to see what I can do with it. Uh, give me a second to... Uh, do something with my phone here so I don't have to hold it and paint and I'll be right back after this commercial break okay I'm back here I'm trying to get this set up where you can somewhat see it um, in this mode on my phone I can't zoom in for some reason um, so I'm going to try to show you a little bit of what I want to do with this skull um, if you got an airbrush I mean, you can get, like I said, you can get one of these at Harbor Freight for 20 bucks, 21, something like that. And uh, you don't even, you don't have to even be knowledgeable of the airbrush. I mean, it's normally uh, dual action, push down for air and pull back for paint. And, uh. I'm just going to do since this is black I'm just going to highlight like uh, the cheekbones and stuff like that and do something that way just kind of reverse so here we go perfect kind of hard to see but doing my best here yeah, it is kind of hard to see I will uh, kind of show you after uh, a little bit of white paint here on it here. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to go with this yet. Just basic. Trying to keep all the white on the stall for the top. said there's no rules you could paint this thing orange it doesn't matter red green purple you know whatever whatever you want to do it keep in mind if you have an airbrush and a compressor you will get moisture um, sometimes the air, the uh, air compressor itself has a moisture trap on it. You want to make sure you empty your air compressor uh, regularly. You can buy a, a um, yeah moisture trap that hooks to the bottom of your airbrush. Um, keep it from spraying water like this one just did. Um, it will get moisture quick. I get a little bit of moisture out. And if you're in the middle of something, you know, like painting or something, 
can uh, mess you up. But this is just for myself. So sometimes imperfections make it look more realistic. These are just my opinions. I'm no expert at this. Let's see here. Sorry, this is not a little close, but I'll uh, I'll give you a close-up view of it here. Tell you what I did. Like I said, you don't have to make this solid white, you know. More shadows and imperfections are better. You can do this whichever way you want. Yeah, I'm just showing you the way I usually do it. But experiment. Ain't co it don't cost you anything. I mean, you can always, I could always spray over this black again. Green, purple, whatever. Like I said, you can do this any color you want. Mess up. You know, it's no, it's not end of the world. Certainly not at the end of the world. Just paint. Paint and plastic. like uh, hopefully you can see that let me uh, take this light off of it here like I said you can do yours any way you want um, when you have a you start with a dark collar you want to put a light collar on especially with airbrush paint um, a lot of it's transparent and there's opaque but it's easier to put lay white down and if you want to do this Skull a different color. You know, you can, but you know, kind of want to lay white down first. But there's the old bonehead. Okay, and we'll put him back in here. Woo. You can do whatever you want. You know, like I said, put collar in this. You can get an old wig. You know, cut the hair off of that, use a hot glue gun, and uh, glue some hair on it. Don't have to be like the whole head of hair. It could just be a few strands here and there, you know, because, like, if this is something you want to come sit stick in your yard, or <clears throat> maybe add a cross piece for shoulders or something, maybe just a half of him out of the yard, uh, the yard. you know, you could stick this in the yard Put his shoulders flat on the ground and then you could just take some old shirt and uh, get you some cheap hands at Dollar Tree or something and uh, hook them to the ends of the sleeves don't even have to put any bones inside of it and stretch them out in the yard you know however you want and uh, pin it down or just lay it there and uh, look like he might have came up out of the ground I mean Yeah, and not all this flesh or anything's going to be on there, so the few strands of hair here or there make it look even better. And uh, if you want to put eyeballs in here, you can get, you can usually pick up eyeballs at about any place. Um, they're cheap. Yeah. And you can paint these and uh, any color you want, you know. What I usually do in these eye sockets is uh, heat the plastic up with the hot the the, the uh, heat gun, and then take these harder plastic eyeballs 
and press them in there to get the the socket that you know for these so these eyes will fit in that socket. And you when you heat that up, it'll it'll more it'll round that socket out, and you can set this eye back in as far as you want, or you can you can actually split. I don't know if you can see it or not. Ooh, there's a crack in that. You can take this apart and just put half an eyeball in there. You don't even have to have, uh, you know, the pupil in the middle of it. You can just turn it around and just uh, have it like that, you know. Two blank, blank eyes, no pupils, you know, like that. Oh. Eyeballs flying everywhere. But, yeah, like that. Or like that. One eye there, one eye there. Yeah, you could take and uh, put one eye in, and then below this eye socket, you could uh, hot glue the other eyeball down here. You know, get some more of this milk jug. Don't have to be anything. Put your gloves on, make a little mass, hot glue it on there, or melt it onto the skull, and then hot glue your eyeball there. And it'll look like it's, you know, falling out of the socket. You know, you can do whatever with these. But, I mean, you can buy all kinds of stuff at, you know, like your dollar stores and stuff. But, you know, it's not just a plain skull. You know, you can, uh, you can get anything, you know. You get, here's the eyeballs. You can get the eyeballs and some skulls and if you don't have to have one skull you could uh you could heat this up and melt down in there and uh put another skull down inside the skull or i was going to take skeletons the little skeletons you get that's usually on a strand or something and you could hot glue these around and make a crown for the skull you know, just add a little skeletons. You can do whatever you want, you know. Or you could take these. Let's see how the ones are. You take these little skulls here. And maybe, you know, hot glue these around. And make a crown that way or whatever, you know. You know, Halloween, you know, it's one of my favorite times. You know, you could, I mean, if you wanted to put a neck on this, you could probably use these skulls as neck bones. You know, instead of just like a regular old neck bone. And you could stagger these. You know, let's see here. Let me show you. Stagger them. You don't have to be straight, you know, like a totem pole. But uh, stagger them underneath there. Hot glue them all together. And you can make a spine or, you know, neck bone, you know, goes into your spine just to make it, make it stand out different. And I think that'd make a, some neat neck bones. Um, you know, anything like your eyeballs. Yeah, you know, your eyeballs don't have to be in the socket. You could put numerous eyeballs on this head. You could make some more eye sockets, maybe on the side, make eight of them. This could be a skull head of a spot, giant spider, or whatever. Do whatever you want. Just, you know, get creative. You know, think outside the box. That's what I do anyway. I have to. I have to, there's not too much in the old box. But, uh, so anyway, oh yeah, you can get these at, uh, if you're lucky enough. Seems like they're, they sell out quick. Um, these little rats, um, at Dollar Tree. And, uh, last time I was in there, I got a good bit of these. I mean, especially if, uh, like, like I make the hot rods and stuff out of wood and stuff. Um, you could cut these in half and have half of them sticking out of the hot rod. You can use a heat gun and you can move these any way you want. Like if you was going to have a gear shift like this, 
you know, and you know, I think I look pretty cool sticking out of the roof of a car, just like you, like uh, the old rat fink Ed Roth, you know. And uh, you could even paint him green and make him look similar to rat fink. Uh, even uh, take some material and uh, make a make a cloth or a uh, something to drape over him, put the RF on it, whatever. But uh, yeah, that's just some ideas I have. Uh, way my brain brain works um i like to get creative i mean with everything i make but anyway that's a skull you can do this skull any way you want you can put any kind of collar on there if you want um like i said you can use it for a halloween prop or you know if you know you go on to a party and uh you need something to you know, with your costume, you know, you could have your little staff, little skull staff to walk around with, you know, and you can put lights in these. Dollar Tree sells a uh, little battery operated lights run by a double A battery. And I, uh, I tend to pick up a lot of them, like these right here. You can get them different colors. These are purple. I know that's backwards. But uh, these are purple. Yeah, little LED lights. Um, it's only a dollar. And you could uh, hot glue these around and put the uh, battery pack underneath, hot glue it in there or on the back and cover it with hair, whatever. And uh, yeah, have a little light for your staff you're carrying around or whatever. If you're going to have this in, in the house or you want to make a couple of these. You know, you could uh, make about anything. You know, whatever you could come up with, you know. But, uh, I think that's it for the day. Um, I have been working on uh, a couple other things. Um, I'll show you. I don't know if you can see it or not. A piece of poster board, which is cheap. This is probably hard to see. Um... But this is a uh, another car I'm we building. Um, it's going to be a hearse, uh, more uh, Dracula, vampire kind of hearse, the spider web, and sharp edges and stuff. And uh, I don't know if you can see the front wheel, will be way out there like that. But uh, just a little idea of mine. This is Halloween. Here's the, uh, excuse the dust, here's the skeletons you can buy, like I was saying, that you could put on there, or you could put them, maybe you put them around the staff. You could get some cheesecloth, hot glue some cheesecloth off of there. These, you know, just little ideas I have during the Halloween thing. I've done a few Halloween parties, and I think that's probably coming to an end, but uh, I will continue to make Stuff Halloween related probably all year round. So that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed uh, a little bit of airbrushing on the skull and little tips, tricks, whatever you want to call them uh, for your Halloween projects. Um, you don't have to go out and spend hundreds of dollars for props at you know any you know, any place that sells that when. Uh, you know, if you need a skull, you can make it yourself. You you uh, buy you a decent skull, you know, that's hard hard plastic, and uh, make your as many skulls as you want. Okay. I will uh, see you next time. Happy Act October. Um, hopefully you'll uh, subscribe and follow me and uh, on Facebook and on my YouTube channel that you're watching right now. Um, Instagram and uh, share, comment, like, what, dislike. Um, you know, if you have any questions for me? Um, like I said, if I can answer them, I'll surely answer them and get back with you as quick as possible. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye now.